We're Landry and Summers. We are the Seniors Improv Comedy. I'm Sean Landry. I'm Summers. And we are back live in back our live. home. Back live, yeah. We are back live in our home. We have been on a worldwide tour <laughs> of danger. We were in Palm Springs. At the Coachella Festival. We were in we Glendale. Week after, right? Yeah, we were in Glendale. And which we did a broadcast uh, on an off night. We did, we broadcast live on Sunday. Yeah, that was, we actually just pulled up our stuff. But if you get onto YouTube, onto the seniors uh, Landry and Summers, you will see five hours of amazing improvisational theater. It was kind of amazing. Uh, also, uh, so you know, for everybody who's watching, welcome YouTube The Ledge Theater. Yay. We are now officially live. The Ledge Theater, where you can go and see a bunch of improvised comedy all over the place on The Ledge Theater. Uh, and also on Pack Theater. Hello, everyone at the Pack on Twitch and everyone at the Seniors Improv on Twitch. And we are live. This is not a recording. We are live. Uh, so, you know, leave those suggestions. Be nice to us. Don't be weird. Don't be a spam bot. Um, oh, by the way, we always carry him in our hearts, in our souls, and through our monitors. Ladies and gentlemen, Improv God. Hello, Improv God. Hello, everyone. All hail the Improv God. Oh, hell, the Improv God. How are you, Improv God? Feeling a little drunk with power after that, so I'm yeah. going to say positive. <laughs> I, that's good. I mean, I'm glad you're feeling drunk with power. thought you were going to stop after drunk. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that would be my stance most uh. of the time on here. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, when we last had, the last time you saw us. <laughs> <laughs> on the last episode. On the last episode of what we did. We had two men who are part of an amazing podcast who came on for us and we had our um, alternative improv God do this. Unfortunately, the uh, internet improv gods were not friendly to us. Spectrum. I'm not saying that again. <laughs> and, but this time everything is, seems to be running smoothly and I'd like to give them an official hello. Ladies and gentlemen, they are in charge of the podcast of Hitchhikers and Appetizers. One of the oh funniest podcasts that's out there. You need to listen to this. One is incredibly snarky. The other is incredibly silly. I will let you decide which one is which. Ladies and gentlemen, out of Georgia, Mr. Brand Peacock and Mr. Mike Gorgon. Yay. Uh, hi. I don't know which one I am. So I'll have, someone will have to decide for me who I am, which I am. Good evening, everyone. Good to see you. Good to hear you. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we're some sort of combination of both those terms, I think. Dark and silly. I think so, too. Snilly. Yeah, I think so, we're too. So you, yeah. So you're just like, Brenike. Because it's like, <laughs> we need a celebrity Brand name. Brand? Bradley. Moran? Maybe? Brand? Marn? Marn? Could just be bike, but that's already taken. <laughs> Yeah, oh, bright, bright. <laughs> so, you're bright. Awesome. so are you guys ready to do this where I'm not having a conniption fit trying to figure out why our internet's not working? Hey, I'm ready to do it regardless of what state you're in. Because you, it's always delightful. All your states are delightful. This is why you're married. <laughs> so far, so good. This is why both of you guys and him are married. For women like me, I will admit to that shit. Um, oh, improv God. Oh, yes. <laughs> I, I just love when you do that because I can literally, can you do that again so I can give you my, um, my uh, Jack Benny look to the camera? <laughs> oh. Oh, improv yes. God. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. So I, yeah, right. So improv guy oh, on our we are going to do a bunch of radio shows tonight, like we were going to do last summer. A collage. <laughs> and uh a cornucopia. A cornucopia, a general plethora of radio shows. And on our Facebook wall to go and keep it generic, 
and keep it 40s, I asked for the suggestion, um, what is your pretend 1940s radio show or a film? Uh, why don't you go and give us a couple in their names so we can make fun of them? All right. Um, first up, uh, we have from Judy Weatherby. I love Judy. <gasps> Judy is amazing, and she's an amazing improviser who I taught online. What does Judy have to say for herself? Darkness falls on the moors. Ooh. Darkness falls on the moors. Improv God, can you give us, for the rest of this show, the product that we will be selling? Everybody, I can't be more excited to introduce you to our newest product here in the 1940s. We want to be up, up, up on everything cutting edge. I'm proud to present to you Spam in a Cup. Spam in a Cup. Thank you, Improv God. We are about to do a radio show. Slow fade us out, sir. gentlemen welcome to the spam in a cup hour brought to you by spam in a cup and remember spam spelled backwards is maps we will take you now to our most important of all of our shows of spam in the cup darkness on the moors slow fade into billy who is on the moors with John. Awfully, it's awfully dark out here, John. Are you sure we should have come out here at night? Billy, tonight's the night we make you a man. Don't you understand that? Only on the moors can you become a man. I'm not sure I'm ready to become a man yet. I have a lot of childhood activities to do. I still haven't I still haven't finished collecting all the baseball cards or, or, or pogo sticks I could find. Look, I saw that chest hair yesterday. You got your first chest hair? That means you got to become a man. I tried to hide it from you, but I couldn't. It just burst forth through my shirt like that. That, that was the most bursting chest hair I've ever seen. Oh. Well, what are you two young men doing oh. out here on the moors late at night? Uh, Mr. Oh. O'Shaughnessy. It's you know the legend out here on the moors, you shouldn't be wandering alone out here in the dark. I, I know that, Mr. I know, Mr. O'Shaughnessy, I'm really sorry, but this is big. This is important. This is All the right. Night. This is man just night. Watch, just watch out for the creature. Oh. I'm going to become a man, Mr. O'Shaughnessy, a man. Don't listen to O'Shaughnessy. That whole, that whole creature thing is... It's, it's, it's all just what they tell you to keep you scared and from becoming becoming a man. Well, they're right. It's really working because it. I think some of my chest hairs may have just grown back in uh, at the at hearing about the monster. I, creature. Okay, it's a creature. It's not a okay. monster. It's a creature. Why? Why do you have to call it a monster? Why can't? Why do you have to? Why do you have to uh, stereotype it? We don't know what I it fear is. It? I fear it. That that's. I mean, why else would I stereotype it? I fear it. I mean. Uh, it, well, hey, you know what you need to fear. What? Manhood. It's I terrible. Do. I don't do. And I don't think you were listening. I already do fear manhood. It, it's something I'm trying to avoid. I don't want to grow up. It's out there. Uh, what was that? What? Uh, it sounds like a creature or a monster. I'm not sure which. I, I can't tell the difference just by sound. <sighs> Take a deep breath, please. Okay. Oh, I got to... I just want to tell you, boys, don't walk that way. There's a big puddle of blood. Oh, a blood? Is that is that the same thing as blood? 
Yes, yes, it is. That's what I'm saying, blood. So, so, okay. I, suddenly, suddenly, I had the impulse. I, I do want to become a man. I do want that challenge. Because if I don't, then it won't move the story forward. So I've got to go toward it. I've got to go toward it. I'm going to walk toward the blue. Let's just keep, just, just keep, just keep your eyes open. We'll, we'll be fine. Once we get to the top of the moor. Oh, the blue, the blue. When the when the moon hits right at that spot. Uh huh. That's when it, that's when it happens. Will I become a man? It. Uh, yes. Oh wait, I, Okay, I'm in the spot. I. It's actually a lot simpler once you get there. Like literally, the moonlight hits you and you become a man. Getting oh. to the spot is uh -huh. a lot harder. Oh, okay, because I'm working toward it. I'll get there soon. As they walk towards the moors, we're going to take a commercial break for maps. And spelled the right way, spam in a cup. Hello, ladies. Hi. Have you ever thought about putting something on rice that's not real meat? Not every real meat? Day. I dream of that every night. Well, keep dreaming, because we found something that you can put on top of rice and wrap in seaweed. The people in Hawaii just love it. It's spam in a cup wrapped in seaweed. It's nutritious, delicious, and it's in a cup. So and remember, spam in a cup spelled backwards is puck, it's a puck, puck in a maps. Puck, puck, puck in a map. Puck, 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 in, puck in a map. Puck and remember, it's, it's way easier to eat than to say. And remember, all of your red points go directly to our company. We now take you back to the moors where John is finding his manhood. Okay, so 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 I almost had the manhood, but I, I dropped it around here somewhere. Um, oh, there it is. Okay, there's there's the path to the manhood. I, I I almost lost the path to the manhood, but now I'm getting closer to that spot. Did I tell you how proud I am of you? I don't know if you did or not. I was too busy too busy. It's probably because the creature was being too loud. The creature is very loud. Oh. And here, oh, here's. I didn't think I was. I didn't think I was going to get to 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 be here. To be honest with you. Really? Why? Why not? Because the creature almost caught me just last night. What? But you're a man already. I know. I know. I thought I was ready for it. That's why I wanted to get you out here. Two men against one creature. Are you kidding me? Come on. But you mean you mean so a man and an almost man against the creature? Yes. But the boys happen to bring a flashlight with you. You know that. Yeah, I, a, or did you bring one? Yeah, yeah. I just I haven't been using it. I've been using the moonlight. It's more oh, man. Strange, some strange thing ripped off my left arm. So if you ah. can let me have the flashlight, I can go look for it. Would you? Here you would go. You, here you go, Mister O'Shea. So we, we, are you looking for the armor? Are you sure the... you don't know? You sure you don't need a tourniquet? No, I'm fine. That's not bleeding that much. It's only spurting occasionally. But if you got a flashlight, I'd like to find it so I can mend my arm. I've told you about wearing those sleeveless shirts. You just look too good in them. I know. I'll take your flashlight and I'll go look for my arm. You think maybe we should help him? Do you think maybe that would move the plot along uh, a little oh, more if we oh, help him? Oh, oh, he's a tough guy. He's a tough guy, you know? But all that blood loss, all that blood loss, eventually that's 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 not going to be good for him. Any delay in getting you to your manhood is a problem. Oh, that's yeah, the, the, that's the, the, the manhood stage. It, it's we're like literally fifty yards from it. We just keep walking. Oh, just right up there. Okay, so keep. So so I just step into the light and 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 I'll be a man. Bask in the moonlight. Oh, I have to bask. Yeah, you know how to bask. Basking's not that hard. I know one of you. Ah. Oh no! It's the creature. Wow, you really don't sound very scared. I am shaking right now. And I know I'm terrified inside. I've met you, know? you. You were shaking when I first met you, but now we're familiar with each other, so there's not the scare factor involved. There's a little more familiarity. We're a little more comfortable with each other. I do not know you. Ah! 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 It's because I'm not a man yet, but but I will be. 
I just have to step into this light over here and bask in it. Just well, I can make you a man. If you want to be a man. Oh, oh, I do now, but, but will it make me a different kind of man than just stepping into the light and basking in it? Is, is, is well, that... come see, come saw, same thing. Oh, God, it's, it's an incredible decision for me. Billy, what should I do? Billy, which, which way Preacher, should I look go? At the well, I, I, you know, hey, you can come with me, bask in the light, or you can go with the creature. And it's you your a... decision as a boy, soon to be oh, man no. and boy, be man. boyish man. Hey, can, can I have a John? John, can I have a second with the creature, please? Yeah, yeah, go, go, hey, yeah, go, go, creature. Go, go, hey, go. hey, hey. I thought you said. Hey, you hey, man, how you doing? Yeah, I, I, I thought you, you said you weren't gonna. You said you weren't gonna show up until like right after he basked. Well, you know, I just had nothing better to do, so I Wait. figured I'd just show up and you know chat with you. So, how you doing? How's your How's your lady? I, she, yeah, yeah, she's good. She's good. She's just, you know, yeah, yeah. a little upset about the job, you know, so yeah. I, I'm, I I gave her a night out tonight and that's why I'm, I'm taking, you know. Oh, tonight. that's, that's nice of you. I, I How is your it, wife? How is your well, wife? Well, you know, she got something caught in her gills. Oh. Yeah, oh, yeah, you know, a big automobile. Someone ended up dumping into the swamp. So, you know, I had to go and, and psychically take it out of her. And, you know, the, the coverage. So inconsiderate. The swamp, yeah, it was extraordinarily inconsiderate of humans. But, you know, you guys are who you are. <laughs> we, we suck. We do. Yeah, you um, really do. You know, you're, you're kind of making me lose a little bit of face here. Um, yeah. Know, and, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. Are you guys I, down over there? Almost. Well, one more, one more second, one more second, yeah. Johnny. Yeah, one more moment. I'm starting um, to feel a little manly. A little. No, you're not, not a man no. yet, girl, girl, girl. So, anyway, could you know. at least let me get him to the moonlight and then, you know, come at him with the fangs and the claws? Sounds like a plan, Stan, as you humans would uh, say. And and I will make sure to take that sign down that they put by the, the top of the moors of you because that just looks nothing like you. I appreciate it. It's an affront. Much, I'm much, I'm much cuter than that. I, I agree. I agree. Yeah. As far as creatures go, on a, on a, I'm, a I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sexy beast. You're a ten. Literally. Yeah, literally, literally a sexy beast. You're a ten on the beast. Thank on the you. I'm beast. a, I'm a ten and beast them. Hey, you go and do your thing. Um, okay. I, I think some woman's coming up and wanting to do a commercial. Oh, okay. We'll be back with the smooth talking of the beast. After this commercial from Sam in a Cup. I know that when I didn't have a lot of money and I was hungry, I thought, what am I going to eat? Well, I went into my local general store and there, to my surprise, on the shelf, I saw something called Spam in a Cup. Well, I like cups. So I thought, what the hell, I would buy this cup with the Spam in it for only 10 cents for the nice 12 ounce can. I took it home and there was this strange gelatinous stuff inside, but it tasted okay. With a recommendation like that, who could go wrong? Spam in a cup. And remember, Spam spelled sideways and upside down is Maps in Cups, Maps, Spam. And we now take you back to the Moors, where we finally Ooh. make Ooh. John a man. Ooh. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to make the step. I have to say that the creature looked a lot more attractive than on the sign. Are you sure that's the, the right creature? Oh, absolutely, absolutely, definitely. Also, I'm, I'm they never hungry. get my good side, no. ever. I'm a little hungry right now. Do you mind if I eat a little of this spasm in a cup real quick? <sighs> yes, I hear it's nutritious and delicious. Arr. Okay, there we go. Oh, it, it's filled with testosterone. That, that makes me feel, oh, wow. <clears throat> so I, you need to know how to become a man, huh? Yeah, I, now I understand I'm supposed to step into the light and bask in it. Is that all? Step into the light, bask in it. Come to me and give me a kiss. Is that my reward or is that like a test of some sort? Yes and yes. Oh, I like that. I like it that it is not for sure. There's nothing sure about this. I no, like it's that. sure. Yes and yes. All right. I, 
Stepping Go into right. the light, sir! And I'm, I'm stepping in, I'm suddenly feel, I... I think... Uh, uh, sprouting, sprouting, oh, hair, hair on. Hi, I am John. I'm a man now. That wow. is great. Now come and kiss me directly on one of my lips. Only one? Shouldn't well, I, you know, I got one on my face. one where a human mouth should be, another one where a human forehead should be, and another one where you don't want to know. Just kiss one that's closest to you. Well, you said I don't want to make where the forehead today. should be or on my mouth. Here we go. I'm going to plant one on there. Is tongue allowed? I more of a man. Here we uh, go. Uh, uh, there we go. And, oh. There we go. Oh. All right, your man, go away now. Oh, 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 oh. I want to stay. I want some more of that. Oh, what? I, I, I don't know. There's something about that that just. Uh, I'm, I'm a married monster, sir. Oh, I don't know. Well, you shouldn't go around uh, just kissing random men, though. Well, that's what I'm supposed to do. That's in our genealogy. That is what I was put on this planet swamp to do. Not to go and I'm not a whore monster. I am just simply doing what my forefathers have done. How does your spouse feel about this? Petra well, not very particularly happy about it. I, she, she, because I am a male, I can do whatever I want. But she, once she kisses me, you know, that's that's pretty much it for her. So oh, uh, I saying. can go off and make other people men. Uh, because those are Swamp Moore's rules. Have right. you seen, by the way, that Irish guy who O'Shaughnessy? keeps coming around? Yeah, O'Shaughnessy. You know, oh, no, you just follow the I, kissed him, I kissed him five times. You know, he's the killer. You know that, right? What? How can he's he be the, the killer? He was injured earlier. He wasn't injured. He injured it himself. He cut his own arm off. Yeah, Kelly, he did. Can you believe that? He cut he's, his own arm off. He's crazy. Billy, Billy, are you? I'm just enjoying this. Mo- I, I'm enjoying this moment so much. It's um, uh, the, the pride is swelling up. I, I didn't think you were going to go in that hard. Yeah. The kiss. Uh, oh. I, that was impressive. Um, I think I learned a thing or two watching that. To be honest with you, that 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 was a more manly kiss than I got to do when when well, I. Well, you know, you were a little squirmish at the top, but you know, it was fine. Um, if, I, if I had one suggestion, I would say chapstick. You know, some I well, you know, we don't have chapstick in the swamp. You want chapstick on the creature, or you want no, it on you and you? I should wear chapstick. Yes. Oh, I was terribly confused. I live in a swamp. Are you gonna? Do, should I wear a particular flavor or? Oh, for crying out loud! This is a ridiculous conversation, guys. You're both men. You're both friends. Will you please ask the people uh, along the your I ninety whatever that is to go and get a better picture of me, because that's, that's really infuriating to me. I well, think I should be added to the sign too. I don't know why. I just okie dokie. I have nothing to do with that. I live in a swamp. Um, well, maybe mind? I could work it out. Well, what about him kissing you on the sign? Oh yeah. Or that could be, be that, that could be I the softer. I'm telling you, I won't see it much. I live in a swamp. But that could be the softer image you're looking for. That's fun. That's great. That's wonderful. I, I would love to have a swamp party if the the, the crowd and and crazy you know O'Shaughnessy wants to come. You know, I if you if you inform him, you know, I do have some magical powers. I could get his arm back. Well, yeah, oh, that's the other thing. You, you did mention that he is the murderer. Yeah, he, he right. killed a couple of people in your town. Well, you might want to do you, something about that. Well, you're I just telling me. Why are you just telling Creechy, Oh, my goodness. There's uh, the old ball and chain. Oh. I got to go back to the swamp. Well, we, 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 we you know, you know, Billy, we, we really should probably solve yeah. this mystery. I you think sure you we, don't want to have a boys night? Uh, we'll do a men. boys night. We'll do a boys night. Uh, you know, my favorite day on Halloween. Why don't we do that? Oh, that. Oh, that sounds good. I like. Yeah. All right, all right. As as you above uh, people say, take care of yourselves. You know, she sure knows. A, or the he. I get confused with the creature. I uh, I seems to know a lot about. That kiss must have been a lot better. 
thing you thought well, I was confused. I said, that kiss must have been really good because you're like confused. Well, I'm still learning what it is to be a man. I'm pretty new to this old manhood thing. So I wasn't sure. Well, if that I'd was say you're, it. You're, you're jumping right into it oh, because right. okay. you planted that thing on there. And then they walk off knowing that they're men. And so ends our gripping story of the Moors brought to you by Spam in a Cup. And remember, Spam in a Cup is only pennies to the dollar. It comes in a can that also comes in a cup. Our guest for the evening was Bran Peacock, who played John, and Mike Orgone, who played the guy who was that guy. And remember, and Han Summers played the lovely part of the monster. No, you, you played the monster. You played the monster. He played the monster wife. <laughs> and I, and he also played Mr. O'Shaughnessy. Remember, tune in in a couple of minutes for our next show, which will be coming up shortly. Thank you. And good night from Spam and a Cup. You're listening to K Knob. That's K Knob. When people ask you what station you listen to, tell them you're a knob. Slow fade out on us. And here we are, old time radio show with pictures. <laughs> that would be television. That would be television. Um, hey, Improv God, go and give us another suggestion off that wall. All right. We have a suggestion from one Cameron Rao. Cameron Rao was on our show. They're in uh, Chartreuse Coise. Chartreuse Coise. Um, Chartreuse Coise. And um, he is an amazingly funny man. Um, what does Cameron have to... What's his suggestion? Their suggestion is The Rose Erased. The Rose Erased. All right, and uh, why don't we get a new product? This week's episode of The Rose Erased is brought to you by Atomic Jello. Get Atomic Jello. The, uh, and the suggestion again is the rose erased the rose erased did you get that guys you got it awesome. i got it the rose erased fade us out improv god Yes, it's that time again for your favorite show, The Rose Erased. The long story of a woman's pursuit of love. Brought to you by Atomic Jello. When you want Jello, you want that atomic power in your mouth. And now, the latest episode of The Rose Erased, as we find Rose in her garden. Every day I look at you, you pretty posies. I'm so lonely. Sometimes I wish that you guys were alive or you bring me somebody who will love me the way I love you. As I look off into the sky, I hope that Prince Charming will one day ride it on a horse or maybe a nice convertible. It doesn't matter, a sedan. The sedan will work. Yeah. But I'll just keep tending. Wait. 
Who's that off in the distance? Hello, kind sir. Hello, I, kind I, sir. Oh, hello, hello there, Jan Maiden. Uh, I, uh, I I just had a delivery uh, here uh, of some seeds. Yes, that's for me. Yes, that's for me. I, I plant, as you can see, in this garden. I have the, I'm from I've the never... incredibly handsome Prince Charming uh, seed, uh, seed store. Uh, oh, you're with the Prince Charming seed store. That's right. How apropos. I, I've never seen you deliver around here before. You seem new. That's because I am new. Well, I'm not new to this earth. I've been around for a number of years on the earth, but I am, I am new to this route. Oh, I'm glad you found this route and me. So tell me, when you're not delivering flower seeds, you wouldn't happen to be, oh, I don't know, married? No, it's a tragic tale. I, I almost Oh, please, tell me the tragic tale. I, al wait. I almost was married, but, uh, but once upon a time, there was a, well, it's an allergy. I, I had an allergy to a particular fragrance that uh, my, my dream woman wore and uh, made me break out in hives. And uh, so we, we just had to end it because she couldn't stand to be around someone with hives. So that's why I just went for this lonely lifestyle, live in the back of the seed store, and I just deliver seeds and try to nurse my heartbreak. That's a tragic and sad story. I have one very similar if you would like to listen. I, I would love to. I have to fill out this, this bill while you're talking anyway, so please, please continue. Well, when I first moved into this house, I was always hoping that me and my former boyfriend, who's now deceased, Jonathan, would one day grow into a wonderful, wonderful relationship with my wonderful, wonderful flowers. Well, as most people do in this time, he ended up coming up with a bad, bad case of cholera. Oh. And he passed away. And because he was so sick, they wouldn't take him into a particular funeral home. So we buried him right here. We buried him right above and below these flowers. And there... ever since then, I've been looking for someone to take his place who's actually alive and not dead and not underneath my flowers. And without being too presumptuous, I was hoping maybe, oh, I don't want to be presumptuous. Oh, be presumpt away. No, oh, I don't want to be presumptuous. Presumpt away, please. If you're, are you if, sure I can be presumptuous? I think I think my heart is being a little presumptuous and wants to hear you be presumptuous in return. Oh, then let me be presumptuous. Would you like, even though I just met you two and a half minutes ago, how would you feel about moving in? You know, it just so happens I have all my things out here in the van. Who knew? Who I Who did. Knew? I just had a feeling. Something inside me just said. Hey, you want to load up all your possessions and burn down the seed store and, and jump in the van. So that's what I did. It's like kismet. It is like kismet. You know, one of the great things about kismet is it, it has the word kiss in it. Yes, it does. We'll be back to the rose erased in just a moment. Now, kids, parents, when you're hungry for a really tasty dessert, we suggest that you get atomic jello. We don't want to explode in our mouth. You bet. And it comes in six delicious colors. It Will all I glow? tastes Will the I same. Glow? It comes in various colors yellow, green, red, purple, orange, and lavender. Yeah. It will glow on the plate. Imagine your Christmas parties, your birthday parties, where you bring out your jello, turn off all the lights, and the plate just glows for all your friends and family. Atomic jello. It kind of tastes like acid, but it's sure pretty looking. And now back to the rose erased. And this is the bathroom. And oh. this is the living room. I like how they're in different rooms. It's it's very different from the back room where I've been living at the seed store. I, I enjoy that there are doors to other rooms and other spaces and that I don't have to 
do my business in the same room where I sleep. Well, that's what a house does. Different rooms. This different is, places. Do this you is like, like paradise. That? This is like paradise to me. Except it's for the different. wallpaper over there. You mean my rose flowers wallpaper? That's the only thing. Is It, it seems rather faded. Like it might be time to, to replace it. I don't want to be presumptuous. I don't want to be presumptive. I like being mother, presumptive. Mother, mother, this mother, day. mother, 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 mother. Oh, yes, mother. baby. Oh, oh, but, yeah. uh, 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 mother, mother, is, is, this, is this my new daddy? Is this my new daddy, mother? Almost, almost. Oh, by the way, did I mention that I had a son from my former husband? You this did Robert. not. Robert. You did not mention that. Robert, this is your possible new father. Oh, I'm so happy. I am so happy. Um, <laughs> do, do you like to play? How, how 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 old is how old is he? I am uh, I am six. He's, he's, big one. he's actually he's actually seven, but I pretend that he's six. He's trying to, <laughs> that way we get we always get me at the kids meal. <laughs> he, he is he's very big for seven. He is very oh. big for seven. Well, I like to know, eat. He likes to eat a lot. He likes to eat most of the. That's why I don't have a vegetable garden anymore. He ate all of that. I, I got a lot of vegetables in me. Yes, and meat too, and starch. Some cake. I, saw, I saw your truck. I, I saw your truck outside. <laughs> Can I drive it? Um, I, I, I did you do. What did I say about driving? You remember the last time you tried to drive a truck at four? Yeah, it was so much fun. And you crashed into the side of the house. I did. That's how. That's how we got a new room I put under the house. No, uh, why don't you go back upstairs? You know what I left in your room? Uh, was it Atomic Jello? It was Atomic Jello. <laughs> oh, good, oh, good, oh, good, oh, good. I'm gonna go be my Atomic Jello, and but but we, until later, we're gonna play. We're gonna play. We're gonna play. Okay, you keep thinking that. Okay, go upstairs, me. I eat to appease him. You you eat to appease him? Is that the? He eats. I feed him to appease him. Basically, to have him go away because sometimes my last love did not have what you would call, oh, I don't know, good genetic structure. Oh, you, you, the investment, there was, the investment didn't pay off in that way. There, oh, there was nothing there. No. Oh, no, I, no. I was, I was, I was just wondering, one, one thing I was wondering here, this is purely practical question, not to, to divert from no, the room. Don't be, you won't be presumptuous. <laughs> I don't want to be presumptuous about it, but uh, considering you have one child, uh, would there be a chance to make more with you? Well, you know, I don't know. It's the 40s and I'm 27. It might be the end for me, oh, but no. we could always try. We'll take a chance because that's, that's a really big child that you have and really but seems you don't to be... love the child as much as you love me you have to love the entire package i'll be in working order to get all these rooms that's not just a feed store oh, no this is a this is my struggle this is what i'm wow i sure like these rooms and i sure like you i like you it's really big that kid is because big. you know about flowers I do. About roses. I do. And at this point, beggars can't be choosy. You know, that's one of the most beautiful and it's one of the most beautiful entreaties I've ever heard. Beggars can't. I don't wish to be presumptuous either, darling. Will the romance blossom? And how big will that child get before it stops growing? Tune in again tomorrow for the next exciting chapter of The Rose Erased. Remember, brought to you by Atomic Jello in six delicious colors. And don't forget, for the holiday season, this Christmas Day, I bring out their new product, the Nitroglycin Tafiopa Elka Pudding. My mouth done exploded! It'll taste like tapioca like you've never had tapioca before. Slow fade out.
we just saying about that scene, uh, Mike? Mike, what did you say? You had an image? I, I, was, I just wanted to see them up in the room together, and uh, the kid's favorite game was Can You Lift Me? <laughs> <laughs> I almost spray, almost spray coffee all over my laptop screen. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, let's go and do one more. Uh, uh, Mike, you want to go and be the announcer? For this uh, one? Uh, sure. All right, let's go ahead and try it. Um, improv God, give us just one more suggestion. We'll do a like five ten minute one. All right, we have a suggestion from one Alyssa Joy Lee. <gasps> Alyssa's from Honolulu. She's gone on the spot. Uh, with our Kevin Garcia Doyle, who's been on the show, and Garrick, and they're getting married, and we're going oh, to Honolulu. Wow. Yeah, we're going to Honolulu to go and see them get married because that's fucking awesome. I thought R was married. No, R is married, oh. but not Alyssa, oh. who is marrying Garrick Picard oh. from On the Ooh, Spot and Improv Again. Sounded like you said I was It's marry improv her. love, y'all. It's improv love. Uh, what does Alyssa have to say for herself? Alyssa's suggestion is Uptown Fireball. <laughs> up the up the town fireball. Uptown fireball. Uptown up fireball. fireball. What's a, give, give us a commercial. Uh, give us a product. Improv got this week's episode of Uptown Fireball is brought to you by Gobbledygook, the oatmeal you can taste. <laughs> Gobbledygook. The name of that is Uptown Fireball. Uptown Fireball by Gobbledygook. Take us out, Improv got. Welcome back to another episode of Uptown Fireball, the dance hall where sin happens all night long. Brought to you by Gobbledygook Oatmeal, the oatmeal you can taste. Who wants to go down to the to the dance club? I hear it's absolutely out of control. I think that would be that would be jinkies. I love it. I don't know, but I and my mom said I shouldn't come home all day because she's got a new fella. Yeah, but Uptown is the place to be, from what I understand. You know what I understand they have there? What? Negroes. What? That's the only I understand place in that you can find Negroes. Negroes sing there, from what I understand. Wow. Hey, sis, can, can I go along, too? Oh, sure, why not? Okay. We don't want to leave you alone in the house. Would you like to see Negroes? I've never seen a Negro. Neither have I. I wonder if they're scary. Have you ever seen a Negro? I thought I did once, but it turned out I didn't. Wow. That's weird. Isn't hey, it? let's go and sneak in the car. We can go all the way down to Uptown. Does that sound fun? That's great. Hop in my jalopy. Let's go. Yay! Here we are. It was just right down the street. There, there are a lot of well-tanned people here. Those are, I understand it, those are the Negroes. Oh, hey y'all! How y'all doing out here? What what are you two uh two uh young old fans doing out here? We thought we would come out and see some Negroes. We were told that here at the Fireball place that there are a bunch of Negroes and they will sing for us. Well, you looking at one right now? Baby okay, girl. sing for me. No, you need to go on inside and pay your ticket. Oh, okay. You go oh, on inside. Pay? How old are you? How old is this young man anyway? I was told to say that I am 21 years old. All right, go on in. Okay. I, I was told to say I'm 35 and a sergeant in the military. All right, that's pushing it, but you're definitely much older than uh, this young lady. And that young lady over there standing in the corner, oh my goodness, hello, how many times you a Negro? Uh, yes, I am. Come on in. You go in. That's obviously y'all look alike. You got the high hanging forehead and the missing teeth. Why don't you go on in with your brother? 
Alright, as for you, you're the one who's gonna need to pay for all this. I gotta pay for all? Oh, well, alright, here, uh, you have a veteran discount. A veteran discount? Let me go and see your veteran car. Uh, here, here it is. It's it's in pieces because I, well, I got frustrated by, uh, the way I was welcomed home, but then I taped it back together so that I could use it to get into five. All right, place. well, you know, on the back of this, this has Daffy Duck on it. This looks like a, a Warner Brothers car that you go and get out of your cereal box with so a with a drawn-on soldier on top of it. So I'm guessing that'll Oh, work. what the hell? You only live once here, at, you know, here and up. Come on in. Come on in. Come and listen to some music. Don't be too scared, all right? I'll try not to be. Here, here, here's a, oh, and here's a tip, because I know I'm going to enjoy this. My goodness. One whole penny. That's right. Don't spend it all in one place. Trust me, I can't. The kids are in. Will sin begin? Will Begros sing for them and keep them entertained? We'll find out right after this word from gobbledygook oatmeal. The oatmeal you can taste. Kids, have you ever woken up on a Saturday morning with your stomach completely empty and needed something to sit in it like a rock? Yeah. Well, you know I have. Yeah. yeah. We all have, right, Jimmy? Yeah. Well, then you need to try gobbledygook. The oatmeal that not will only will sit in your stomach like a rock for a week. While you digest it, you can taste the digestion. Oh, well, you, can, you can taste your own digestive juices with it? That, that, it's I've amazing. Never it's never been done before. Gobbledygook is the only oatmeal that does it. You'll love it. It'll keep you well-fed and heavier. And it tastes. We now bring you back to Uptown Fireball. The drinks are flowing, the songs are being sung, and the sin is about to begin. Ain't nobody's business if I do. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ain't nobody's business if I do. Yeah, yeah. The I'm sin is going to stepping along with it almost. I'm, I'm almost. In, in sync with the rhythm of, of this music. This, I, I almost feel like I've come home. Yeah, baby, if I do. Yeah, yeah. Remember, everybody, we sin every Friday and Saturday nights here at the Uptown. Remember, we don't care if you got fake ID, real ID, fake money or not. We're here to get you stoned. We're here to get you high, and we're here to go and make you happy, no matter what age you are. Am I light, little man over there who just passed out? Yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about. And remember, the more you drink, the better I sing. You Good night, great. everybody. Well, that, I think that may have been the greatest performance I've ever seen in my life. Or maybe it's the green alcohol talking, or, or maybe it's the toilet liquor. I'm not sure which. Hey, hey, baby, how you doing? Did you like my set? I, I loved it so much. I, I, I've never experienced anything quite like that. That's great. You know, in the back, we got a, a little, um, well, as Cab Calloway would say, uh, what do you think, bass player? What did Cab Calloway used to say? Well, we got a little party going on in the back. We got a party going on in the back to you and your... Little after party. Little after party, after after sim party. The special folks. It's special folks. Uh, you look like a special folk. You Would you like to go and experience more sin? Boy, I sure would, especially if it's in a room with the doors closed, and I don't know specifically what's in there before I go in. Oh, that, well, well, have you ever met the reefer man? That the funny, reefer funny, man. funny reefer man? I knew of a guy who sang lots of songs about the sea and coral reefs. Oh, no, that's no, not it. No. No. This isn't about but, 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 but if, you, if you come in the back room, if you come in the back room, you're going to experience some reef of madness. Absolutely. You well, know, I, one I, day, I, one day, they're going to remember these experiences and do a musical about it. What, what, whatever would about they About the call? sins of it, reef of madness. I actually, I actually, I actually have a, a good song for it. It's called Reef of Madness, Reef of Madness. But you know, I don't know if anyone's going to pick it up or even watch that play. I, I would. I certainly would, especially 
I know that there's this strange smell coming from the back room, and it's suddenly making that's me what alive. your smell. That is the sins of joy. One day, when you smell that, people will go, "That's medicine." But right now, it's the sins. One day I'll live long enough to someone say, "It's gonna be legal all over the place in this here bar here." We will no longer be sin. We'll be, as some people call it, the new normal. The new normal? The new normal. Remember that, young man, as you have your kids grow up and you grow up. Whatever that smoke is that's coming from the back room, as, as I inhale it, it's like I could actually taste those words you just said. Yeah, and it tastes even better when you have a Milky Way. Oh, can I have a Milky Way? Yes, you may. It's in the back. Well, then I'm definitely going in there. I'm going to charge in with my eyes closed. You go on in. Hey, Baseman. Baseman, come on over. Yeah. So what do you think of them young jibber-jabbers? Well, you you got to to teach them young so they they, they become regular clients, if you know what I mean. Yes, you know who you sound like? Who do I sound like? You sound like a... a... I've, I've been told that. Yeah, you sound you sound like a. I do. Yeah, you on do. occasion, actually, he got it from me. Yeah, uh, you think so? Yeah. You know, every once in a while, I think. Well, I regusted. Well, uh, once in a while, I understand that. I see. But you know, when I go in the back, I decide. Well, you have to do that before you go in the back. Well, you don't have to go in the back. You actually have well, to. Well, you can't do that. That dog got boarded up. Well, you know, it doesn't have to be boarded up. You know, once in a while, I used I to. I tried going through the window one time, but then I got my all cut up. But I. I remember you getting yeah. all cut up. It was that time in nineteen. No, it was way before yeah, that. Yeah, you're right. You know why I like you being my bass player? Why is that? We understand each yeah, other. Yeah, 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 we do. Let's go get some reefer madness. Let's get some reefer madness. And once again, the Uptown Fireball claims two more victims. Uptown Fireball. You can feel the burn without actually having to die. Brought to you by Gobbledygook Oatmeal, the oatmeal you can taste. Try our new turkey flavor, because now we're calling it Gobbledy. Ladies and gentlemen, Hans and I just did the undefinable scene. Indefinable. Indefinable scene. Indefinable. That was a little little snippet. Actually, it was uh, written originally by Flournoy Miller. Really? It was like the most popular sketch in Black Vaudeville. Yes, indeed. Wow. And you can see that him actually do it with his current partner, because his original partner passed away in, in stormy, stormy weather. weather. So everyone, please Google stormy weather, which has literally, actually, if you uh, Google stormy weather, you will go and see Cab Calloway, Lena Horn. Um, Fats Waller, F- Fats Waller, Ada Brown, Ada Brown, Bill Bolt, Jangles Robinson, Nicholas Brothers, and the Nicholas Brothers sliding down um, this m- amazing staircase. It is oh, one of the first. Weather. Act- it's stormy, stormy weather. weather. Stormy weather. Please, everybody, in earshot. Please. Oh, uh, just <laughs> literally type in Nicholas Brothers stormy weather. Um, they, they have actually used this piece a million times. It is actually very popular on YouTube, too. Yeah, and a lot of, a lot of dance documentaries always show this sequence because it's so amazing. Yeah. Hey, guys, when's your next podcast? Because it's getting late in the night. <laughs> Mike, Mike knows these things. Oh, I know Mike? this. <clears throat> we will be streaming live on Twitch on Monday from 9 to 10 p.m. Eastern time, and we will be revisiting one of our episodes from season one. Uh, I believe it's episode 14, Glorpston Loves Frogball with uh, Andy St. Clair. Uh, nice. Um, Glorpston does love frogball. Yes, he does. Yeah. Uh, and then the latest episode of season three, which will be episode 14, is on released on Wednesday, <clears throat> and that is with Adel Rafai of Magic Tavern fame. Uh, nice. Chunt- the talking badger uh, well, whatever so, he's had sex with recently yes <laughs> not on our episode no, um but no uh sure. that was a lot of fun and i think uh, people are gonna really enjoy it I very do. cool we will go and put all the links up like we did last time to hitchhikers and appetizers 
that is on Improv in Action Network. Improv in Action Network. Uh, so, or any um, other fine uh, YouTube the podcast thingies out there. Yeah, any so other pod, regular podcast places you can just you know search for Hitchhikers and Appetizers. You'll uh, find yeah, it. Bas- yeah, basically, actually, if you type it into Google, if you can't find it, you have Googled wrong. <laughs> <laughs> It's basically you have yeah guys this worked out well how'd you feel about that i enjoyed it good yeah yeah it, it actually we I, i've screaming. never done a radio announcer so that was new <laughs> that was actually very cool and i want some spam in a cup i want like, improv god i want some spam in a cup yeah Doesn't yeah i'll try to sound like it would hit the spot Doesn't Ooh, it? Dug it. In a cup earlier yeah, soup in a cup, spam in a cup, spam on a stick. Well, I'm spam in a can. That's a whole. That's something else. That's how about uh, how about spam in a can on a stick? Ooh, Deep fried. That, I really that's for not food. I realized I wish I made the turkey reference on gobbledygook earlier. Gobbledygook yeah. made with minced turkey. <laughs> 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 so yeah, I, I'm really digging this format because it gets us, you know, it gets us into a whole different mindset of doing, I would love to rehearse this actually with an ensemble. Well, if you rehearse it, it's not improv. No, we're rehearsing <laughs> improvisationally to get the oh, beat to the Impro- Rehearse the form, Hans. Ah. Rehearse the form, you dick. <laughs> I, you know, I, I didn't call you that, Hans. I did. You thought I it, did. though. Huh? You, you thought, thought, it, you though. thought it, though. Well, yeah, of course I did. <laughs> With that, guys, it is officially six o'clock all over. Everybody um, who is watching on Twitch, go and give to respective places to the Pack Theater. Also, if you like to, to the Ledge Theater. Um, uh, give us ups and loves and subscribe on uh, YouTube, on um, both Landry and Summers and on uh, the new Ledge Theater. If you are watching on LinkedIn, hello, LinkedIn. Please hire me for editing. They're virgins on LinkedIn. First time. <laughs> or hire us as slogan? for theater. They're virgins on way. LinkedIn. Yeah, okay. I'm really, I'm really very excited um, about streaming all over the place. Um, ladies and gentlemen, next week we will have a show. <laughs> there, oh, uh, those are my favorite guests that you've ever had. Is the ones you're having next time. Exactly. Yeah, so that's a TBA. Yeah, next week. Unless TBA I can get Mr. Part. Mike Gorgone to go and do it next week, we'll talk <laughs> just Ooh. by yourself. I've heard of him. <laughs> I've heard of him. I heard he was actually really kind of funny. He, I, you know, don't Sometimes. tell him that because it puts him in his head. Yeah. No, yeah. no, no. I've, I've heard that too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the improv, god, the improv knows. god knows all. You see yeah. there? He knows all. With yeah. all that, ladies and gentlemen, this was actually fun and almost that's relaxing. Really uh, much more relaxing than the last time we were together. So thank you very yes. much. I'm talking into a dead microphone, That's right. like it's actually live. Hey, don't hog the microphone. I want to talk into it. Yeah, what am I thinking? Hog that dead microphone. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Sean Landry. I'm Summers. That is Brad Peacock. That is Mike Gorgone. We are the Seniors Improv. That is Improv God, aka Brandon Bombach. Peace. Brayden. Brayden. My God, I'm sorry. <laughs> you, almost, you almost got through all the names. Wow. You There's going to be a lightning bolt. I love you. Brayden, I love you. You know I do. I do. Brayden, I love you. You know I do. I do. He's Improv God. Peace, love, soul. <laughs>